Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 4-38 that is taken from chapter number 4, Axial Load and the book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is the load of 2800 pound is to be supported by two essentially vertical A36 steel wire. If originally wire AB is 60 inch long and wire AC is 40 inch long, determine the force developed in each wire after the load is suspended. Each wire has a cross-sectional area of 0.02 inch. So you can see this is the load that is 2800 pound acting downward. This is let W and this is wire AB and this is wire AC. So originally their length are given and cross-sectional area is given. So you have to find the load in this wire BC, AC and uh, AB and AC. So let's start with the given data. So first we will write given data. We have been given that the load which is 2800. So let this load is equal to W is equal to 2800 pounds and 2 A36 A36 steel wire. Clear? And the length of wire AB is given as 60 inch while the length of this AC is given as 40 inch long that is before the load is applied. Original length is this one. Okay. Area of both this AB is equal to area of AC which is given as 0 0.02 square inch. So what we have to find is that to find determine the force in each wire. So basically we are going to find out the force in A, B and the force in AC. So we'll start with the solution. So if you look at this diagram, so let's say this is your point A, clear? So you will be having a wire AC. So the force developed in wire AC is TAC, clear? And force developed in wire AB is TA. B and the load that is acting downward this W is equal to 2800 pound. So by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. So you can see this W is acting downward clear. So it will be negative and these two forces are upward so it will be positive and their sum must be equal to zero. So I will write TAB plus TAC minus 2800 is equal to zero. Let this is your equation number one. Now you can see due to this load W acting downward. So there will be deformation or elongation in wire AB as well as elongation in wire AC. So both are A36 steel wire. So I will write due to load of 2800 deformation in each wire will be same will be same because they are of a 36 so what we will write is that deformation which is equal to delta so delta a b will be equal to delta a C. Since we know that delta is equal to load or force into length divided by A into E. So I will write it delta AB will be equal to TAB into length of AB divided by area of AB into E. E will be same for both. And same is for TAC into length AC divide by area AC into E. So you can just put the value TAB is given as 
TAB is not known, so I will write TAB length of AB is given as 60. So it will be multiplied by 60 divided by area, which is given as 0 0.02 inch for both. So 0 0.02 multiplied by E. And that is equal to TAC, which is not known. Length is given as 40 clear inch. You can see divided by area is 0 0.02 multiplied by E. So we do not know E. So for A36 steel wire, what you will do is that you will go to the end of the book and from the property table at the end, average mechanical properties. And that will be in US customary. So you will check A36. So you can see this is A36 and value is 29 into 10 to power 3 KSI. So I will note down it. E is for a 36 steel e is 29 into 10 raised to power 3 ksi so put the value or if you do not put so you it will be cancelled from here clear and at the end you will get 1.5 times tab will be equal to tac let this is your equation number two. Now what we will do is that put equation two in equation number one, which is this one. You can see. So I will write TAB plus instant of TAC. I will write 1.5 times TAB minus 2800 is equal to zero. So 2.5 times TAB will be equal to 2800. So TAB will be equal to 2800 divided by 2.5, which will give you 1120 pounds. So it means that your force in wire AB is equal to, if you divide it by 1000, so it will be 1.12 KSI. KSI means kilo pounds. So this is the force in wire AB. Okay. Now you have this value of TAB put value of TAB in equation number two. So equation number two says that TAC is equal to 1.5 times TAB so 1.5 multiply by 1.12 KSI will give you TAC and you will get TAC is equal to 1.68 kip. Sorry, this the unit is kips, not KSI because KSI is the unit of stress. So this will be kips. Kips mean kilo pound. So here we will also correct it. So these are the answer of our this question where the force developed in wire AB is 1.12 kips and in wire AC is 1.68 kips. And that was all about this problem 4-38. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about every new video which I post. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching and supporting.